Sell your car the motorway way. Motorway has rapidly become a household name thanks to its catchy TV and radio adverts. It's one of the fastest growing firms in the used car industry, connecting private sellers with car dealer buyers. But how does it work? Where did it all begin? And who are the people who've built the firm into a billion dollar business? In this video, we chat to the people behind the brand, the car dealers that use it, and ask just how big can Motorway get? Motorway was founded by an experienced team of tech entrepreneurs in 2017. Six years later, it's valued at more than a billion dollars and has 350 staff working from offices in central London and Brighton. Its success story has seen it raise more than 200 million pounds in funding. And in 2022, it sold cars worth some 1.7 billion pounds. These days, Motorway works with 5,000 car dealers across the country. One thing that I would um, say is it, very transparent. You tend to find people who are selling their cars personally and privately. They're going to have to interact with you when you turn up to collect the car. We tend to be a lot more honest about the description of the car. Um, and we tend to find that um, we can either bid accordingly or decide to buy or not buy that car based on, uh, based on a, an accurate description. What we found is we can almost avoid as many lemons uh, as, as, as they like to call it in the trade as possible because we're able to sell, uh, send our own in-house buying team out to visit the cars that we've won bids on, assess them thoroughly and you know we're sort of in the driver's seat um, in that sense. Wish I thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> it it's, it's a simple idea really is you know Again, like a number of other dealers, we, we probably contact customers via Auto Trader. Back in the day, the classified ads you used to ring up the customers to buy the vehicles, and it's just that process all sweeped into one now. This isn't the first time Motorway's founding partners, Tom Leafs, Harry Jones and Alex Buttle have worked together. This is the fifth tech business the trio have started in the last 15 years. Previously, they found success setting up and then selling various comparison websites. They dabbled in property and broadband and then, after a short break, decided to focus their efforts on the used car market. They believe they spotted a gap for consumers to get the best price for the cars by selling them quickly and easily to car dealers. It was this kernel of an idea from which Motorway was born. As a founding team, we still believed that we had one really big company in us and we wanted to build the one company which would define our careers um, and something that we could build over a 20 or hopefully 30 year period. Um, and so we got back together, we got an office uh, in a disused hospital in Camden in North London and we spent about six months really diving deep into, uh, into various industries to work out where we thought we could build something really meaningful. Um, and we very quickly came to the car space. Cars is something we have always been passionate about. It's always been a, a market that we thought was extremely interesting. And what struck us as we began to dig into it was just how much of what happened in cars was offline. Um, this was in 2017, before the pandemic. Um, and while lots of research happens online in the car space, almost all of the transactions were happening offline. Um, and so we began to look at this space and thought, if we can find a way to bring some key elements of this industry online, we can build something really meaningful. And so we zeroed in on this, this problem that we'd had as consumers, which is the problem of selling a car. How do you sell your used car for a great price and have a good experience doing it? And that, that was always very difficult for people. It always has been for 50 years. And as we dug into that problem, we started to understand the other side of the marketplace, the dealers and their challenges and their struggles. Um, and broadly, we, we, we realized that while consumers find it difficult to sell their cars, 
dealers find it very difficult to get the best quality stock in an efficient way. And so we looked at that problem and thought, that's where we need to focus. Like WeBuyAnyCar.com, Motorway is designed to offer consumers a hassle-free way of selling their cars when they can't be bothered to sell them privately. Essentially, it's an online auction for used cars where dealers compete to buy vehicles. Sellers are guided for a simple process of listing and uploading their car to the site. They fill in an online form and take their own pictures. Experts at Motorway then check the adverts for quality before setting them live in daily auctions of up to a thousand cars. It seems to be a pretty pain-free process that users love. For, for sellers, the journey starts on, on the Motorway website. Um, we've designed it to be as quick and simple as possible. They enter their uh, number plate, enter their mileage, and we come back immediately with a live valuation for their car. Um, that valuation is based on different data sources, but a lot of data that comes live from our auction, so we're giving them an up-to-the-minute valuation for the car. Um, the next step is to answer a, a short online questionnaire where we start to pick out the details which we know dealers really care about with vehicles, even down to the small details like the presence of a, a locking wheel nut um, or the, um, whether the car's been smoked in or not. Um, and then the, the third step really is about photos, and this was a point where we really had to innovate. Um, dealers, if they're gonna buy a vehicle online, they really want to see photos, and I think Motorway is very well known for providing dealers with 16 or more photos, including photos of every alloy, every tire tread on every vehicle that we sell. I think it was a couple of years ago where, where, where I saw them all over socials. I mean, now that they're, they're all over TV, which is brilliant. Um, but that sort of caught my eye. And I, I decided at the time that I was going to actually have a crack at selling my own car through the platform. And as um, a seller at the time, um, I really enjoyed the user experience. I, you know, uh, after sort of going through that digital journey, online journey, I, I, I just thought, you know what, this, this platform is, is going to go places. Um, and then when we used it from a dealership side, um, we found that, yes, it's difficult to sort of buy in bulk with motorway, but the quality of stock that you can get is day and night difference from other traditional auction houses. I think the dealers are making more money from buying from Motorway. So, you know, we have a, a, a big dedicated sales team that speak to dealers every day and reports that we get back and anecdotes from them is one, they love the stock because it's unique. Um, you know, it's, it's normally quite well specced because it's been owned by a private seller hasn't been on the market before and they again the two main points that we get back from them is that they're making more margin on our stock and they're turning the cars quicker. Dealers can then search up to a thousand cars listed like this for sale every day. Once they've found one they like they enter the maximum bid they're willing to pay and the motorway system increases bids on their behalf so they can crack on and do something else. We operate a proxy bidding system, which means that they just have to place their maximum bid rather than having to continuously cancel and re-enter bids as, as the sale goes on. Um, and what that means is, is that it's much less labour intensive for them. Um, it's really slick and easy to do. And then when the sale ends at 3pm, we uh, update all of, the, all of the vehicles and we let the dealer know what the outcome was on all of those vehicles. Once the sale is complete, the seller is connected to the winning dealer. They'll then settle any finance, pay the remaining balance to the seller and arrange to collect the car. We, we can buy anything between 1 and 10 to 15 on a daily basis. It's dependent on the model mix on there. And that is the frustration when you are buying a car from the Midlands or up north or in Devon. That, that delivery charge is two to three hundred pounds whereas if i bought 10 from manchester the delivery charge is going to be 80 pounds a car so that we have to factor that into obviously our margin when we're buying and it's this final part of the jigsaw puzzle that even motorway admits makes things a little hard to scale for dealers while buying the odd car here and there is straightforward when dealers want to buy in bulk they have to organize multiple collections and multiple payments and it's this that makes things a little bit trickier. 
It's something Motorway is well aware of. And you're right, we do hear from some of our um, dealers that they, they want it to be even faster and even easier to purchase stock um, or to purchase lots of stock at once, which is great for us as well. Um, so we hear that feedback a lot and, and we're working on exciting things in that area. And what about payments? I mean, at the moment, pay, uh, dealers deal with the payments for these cars. Uh, is that something you're looking at changing? So certainly payments is a, a big area of interest. Um, you're right, we hear the feedback from dealers that um, it's, a, it's a lot of work to set up payments for every individual seller that they purchase cars from. Also on the seller side, I think it can be a smoother process if perhaps Motorway is managing the payments and, and um, releasing it to the seller at, at the right point. It increases trust in the platform. Um, so yeah, we don't announce um, any, any future products, but I would say watch this space. Auction houses have had the used car remarketing scene sewn up for years, but COVID changed all that. As auction lanes were forced to close, online sales were the only way to do business. And this saw dealers looking for new ways to buy stock fall into the lap of motorway. I mean, I think there's been a huge amount of change in this industry, even in the time since we've started. But the conditions we thought at the very beginning in 2017 still remain, which is that the bulk of used car transactions happen offline. There's a huge amount more that technology can do to make the experience better for everyone. Um, but there's been an acceleration through COVID that's definitely moved more people online. What, what you typically see when uh, an industry moves online, and it's happened across most of the big industries already, is that once it moves online, it doesn't go back. Like most tech firms on a fast-paced growth trajectory, profitability is something that's seen more as a nice-to-have, not a necessity. Motorway is still submitting abridged accounts to Companies House, but it did tell us that the value of cars it sold more than doubled in 2022, up from £841 million in 2021 to £1.7 billion. In a statement, Motorway said that it's on a strong path to profitability and that it has significant funding reserves to drive its growth. But what losses the tech firm is clocking up were not disclosed. Is, is Motorway profitable? So as, as a private company, I, I, we luckily don't need to talk about the, um, the, the detail here, but uh, going back to my earlier point, we, we believe from the start that this has to be a sustainable business. Um, and even though it's a technology business, uh, it still has to deliver a sustainable, hopefully 20, 30 year journey. And so from the start, we've focused on ensuring it has strong economics, um, that we invest in the right things to be able to grow the business and that we can continue to deliver great value to our partners. But what about the investment money that helped Motorway launch? Where did that come from? Well, so far the firm has been through three rounds of funding. The first bought in 2.7 million in 2018. A Series A round in 2019 added a further 11 million. And then in 2021, it raised 189 million pounds from the likes of BMW and Index Ventures. That latter VC has previously backed tech firms including Slack, Roblox, Deliveroo and Etsy. Even one Mr. Alex Chesterman, the founder of online used car dealer Kazoo, put his hand in his pocket to help with the initial seed funding for Motorway as one of their original angel investors. It helps that technology is at the forefront of Motorway's business, and that has no doubt played a part in attracting those multi-million pound investments. The team are proud of the advances they've made with tech in an industry that often needs to be dragged kicking and screaming into the future. It's fundamental. I mean, we, we believe in the power of technology to change an industry. Um, and we also believe fundamentally that in 2017, and even now, uh, the car industry is not utilizing technology to its full, ex to its full potential. Um, and that, so that's a, that's a core pillar for the business. And so technological innovation was really how we've built this. We've built some incredibly powerful tools for consumers, for dealers, and the underlying platform which enables this to scale. So I joined Motorway about 12 months ago, and prior to Motorway, I spent eight years at Amazon in their marketplace. And the big attraction for joining Motorway for me was the opportunity to reinvent the way that people sell their cars, and also the way that dealers can buy that, that, those cars through a marketplace platform. 
And I was just really excited when I met with Tom and Harry and Alex, the co-founders of Motorway, by the vision that they had to, to transform the industry, but also, as importantly, the way they talked about our customers, our sellers and our dealers. And the real almost obsession that they had about ensuring that not only were we delivering day in, day out a great customer experience, but also this idea about constantly innovating and pushing the boundaries of what we could achieve through technology. We're really inspired by companies outside of the automotive space. So companies like Amazon, like Booking.com, uh, like Airbnb, Spotify, companies that have gone into, again, uh, industries which hadn't seen change for a long time and leverage technology to really shift and improve the, the customer experience. Motorway has grown rapidly thanks to strong branding and some memorable advertising. Television and radio adverts have caught the attention of the motor trade and the public. Unfortunately, the advertising regulators took issue with one banning it for what they thought promoted irresponsible driving. Motorway said it thought it was clear the dealer leaping from his car was fantastical, but the ASA disagreed. Despite this minor hiccup, the promotion has clearly worked. Advertising is good. I mean, you come across it in various guises. You know, I can be driving along listening to talk sport in the morning or, or um, you know, whichever radio station, I'm always sat at home watching the football and in the middle of the half <laughs> time I see the motorway advert. So um, I love the name, obviously, it, it's, it's synonymous with, with what it does, you know. So branding wise, they've got a great brand, um, very catchy, some good adverts, you know, that chap that uh, the motorway way, you know, I've tried to, I've tried to reenact his voice. That I thought, God, that's brilliant, you know, and that, that, but that does hark back to you know, we buy any car.com, we, you know, sort of having a catchy phrase. When I'm speaking to people, um, the the reason why they've heard of Motorway is by the advertisement. So it's not like they've Googled in regards to disposing of the vehicle where, for example, we buy any car might pop up. Um, they've physically either heard, heard the radio jingle or alternatively um, seen the TV advert, which has led them to um, to sell my vehicle, dispose of the vehicle on motorway platform. What many dealers don't realise is quite how big motorway has become. It now employs hundreds of people in two offices in London and Brighton. When we visited, we saw huge teams working on every element of the sale, from checking adverts and guiding sellers through the listing process, to those helping car dealers with purchases before and after the auctions. But just how big can it get? Um. Global. It's it's a scalable business. Um, I think they're sort of laser focused on the UK market now, which is probably the right thing to do. Um, but it's definitely um, a platform that 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 can scale across different markets. I don't I don't see why not. If they can keep those. Um, core principles good then they could expand that as big as they want you know from taking in fleet cars which would be taken on bca and stuff like that um so really um you know taking on auto trader as well i believe because people you know who are selling privately tend to want to go on auto trader then auto trader you know might be losing a lot of those private customers now to people going over to motorway Motorway has clearly disrupted the used car remarketing scene and it's growing rapidly. But what's next for the business? We are still relatively small in terms of the market, but the market is, is enormous. And I think that's what's really exciting is that we can really start to get some traction now. I think the shift to online has been, has been great. It's certainly been accelerated um, over the last couple of years and it puts us in a really good position. So I think sky's the limit really and we're, yeah, we're hugely excited to see where we can go. So I think motorway can become really big. Um, the used car industry is enormous. It's 8 million transactions per year. Um, we're growing very quickly, but I think there's a huge amount of headroom for us to, to grow further. The numbers now speak for themselves. We're doing high volume with lots of dealers and with lots of consumers and delivering a great experience. But this market is much larger than, than, than we're currently, uh, than, our, than our share currently is. There's 8 million used cars sold every year, and we're only doing a small proportion of that. So our ambition is to grow that share, to help our dealers acquire more stock through us, and to make the platform easier, more enjoyable, and more powerful for all of our customers.
Motorway's recipe for success has actually been a pretty simple one. It's connected private sellers who want to get the best price for their car with car dealers looking for the best quality stock. While the buy it now businesses like We Buy Any Car aren't known for offering the best price to sellers, Motorway has found a way to keep both parties smiling thanks to a sophisticated auction platform. On the face of it, it's a simple idea, but one that behind the scenes uses clever technology and detailed listings to get the most for the vehicles. While others will be kicking themselves for not thinking of the idea in the first place, the entrepreneurs behind Motorway are busy building it into the latest motor trade giant. For more car dealer investigations like this one, check out the playlist on our YouTube channel. And for the very latest motor trade news, log on to cardealermagazine.co.uk.